Hi everyone, welcome back to my art channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a 20 by 20 inch canvas. I've painted the edges black, so my base color is going to be all black. And today I'm just using three metallic colors plus a white, a titanium white by Amsterdam. So I've got my silver, my copper, my white and my gold. My base is black and I really want this piece to really shine with the silver. So silver's going to be my main focus. I really want that colour to pop through with just a hint of the other colours. But first of all, let's get the lamp black down on the base. Let's spread it out across the canvas to get a consistent pour. I'm using a hairdryer, so today it's all about the Dutch pour technique. And I can't wait for you to see what we can create together. One thing that I would say is already I can see that my paints aren't as fluid as I'd really like them to be. They're a bit thicker in consistency, but that's totally okay. I'm confident that the design will still work. But just remember when you're using metallics, what I find is they do stay a little bit more thicker than other colors. So I do one part paint to one part water, but I'd probably add a little bit more water in just to make it a bit more fluid. I'm going to put my paints down now one by one on the base. Let's use the copper as a guide. So I do like to use one color as a bit of a guide to show you where I'm going to place the paints. And I'm literally thinking about negative space. So the black color on the base with the colors that I'm layering. And the silver really does want to be my focus for today. I've put my copper colour down first because I really want that to just have a slight hint when I blow it out. I'm going to now add my silver. This is the most prominent colour that I'm aiming for. So when I blow this design out, I really want the silver to be the focus of this piece. When we talk about metallics, I often focus on the gold element, but I really wanted to change it up and allow silver to take pride of place to shimmer through. I'm adding a little bit more white. That's going to create some lacing within those metallic colors. That's gonna help create some of the pattern and some of that detail. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with some gold. But don't worry, by adding the gold last doesn't mean that that's going to be the color that really shines through. You'll see in a minute, as I blow this out, it's a little bit thicker than normal, but that's okay. But it will allow me to really focus on that silver color. I'm just gonna use my torch now to pop any air bubbles before I use my blow dryer to blow out the design. My blow dryer is listed in the description box below in case you want to know which brand that I'm using. But my settings for this and for all my Dutch pours are on the lowest setting and using the cool setting. I can't help but notice as I layered my paints down and the way that I'm blowing it out almost reminds me of the shape of a dog. In fact, the dog breed that I'm really thinking about is a poodle. And I don't know, maybe that's just what I can see in this painting. I'd love for you to take a look at the finished version and tell me what do you see? I'm really getting the poodle vibe with this and it's making me smile. So let me know what you think. I'm 
really happy with how this design is turning out. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my mouth to blow out some of the areas a little bit further. I'm not going to achieve that with my blow dryer. I don't want to increase the settings that it's on. I just want to use my mouth and delicately blow out the areas that I really want some more detail. There's enough paint on my canvas. I don't need to add any more. And there's definitely enough paint on the base. But because it's slightly thicker than what I'd normally use, by using my mouth, I can help control the blow and the flow of the paint within this design. Let me take you in for a close-up of the wet version. You'll see that I've decided not to blow any of the paint over the edges. This was really about balancing the paint I layered, those three colours with the white, across the canvas and keeping some of that negative space. And the silver really does take the prominence of those colours. And you can see the cells and the lacing that have also been created as details within those sections. So what I'll do is I will show you the wet version and I'll bring you back again and show you the dried version. So here we go, here's the fully dried version. It's not yet varnished. I always apply a coat of varnish to all my pieces. I use a spray varnish by Winsor & Newton and normally go for the gloss or the high gloss. But you can see here how it's dried. You can see some of those details within each section, how some of those colors have really infused. But the intention really was to allow silver to have its time to really showcase how silver can be a fantastic colour mixed with the gold and the copper with a white. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing this process. Let me know what you think. Do you get poodle? Do you get a dog vibe from this? That's kind of what I'm seeing when I look at this piece. But I'd really love to know what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. I always really, really appreciate all your support and I hope you're having a great week. And remember, let me know if you try this too. Until next time, I hope to see you again in the next video. See you soon. Bye.